In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a Yorkie Poo. Yorkie Poos are very cute. They're a great size, they're small, they're loving, they're low shedding, but they may not be for everyone. And in this video, we'll explain seven reasons why. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and entertaining. By the end of this video, you'll know whether or not a Yorkie Poo is right for you. So let's get started with number one. The first reason a Yorkie Poo may not be best for you is because they have sensitive stomachs. A study found that doodles, any dog that's mixed with a poodle to make the Labradoodle, Golden Doodle, and in this case the Yorkie Poo, they do have stomach issues. This means they'll go to the bathroom when they're not supposed to, they'll throw up if they don't get fed on time, and it can be a big hassle for you and your family. So it's something to be aware of, and a doodle may not be best for you if you don't want to deal with unwanted throw up or your dog going to the bathroom. So keep this in mind when you're deciding on whether or not to get a Yorkie Poo. Number two reason why a Yorkie Poo may not be best for you is because of their exercise requirements. You might be looking at the Yorkie Poo because they're little and you don't think they need that much exercise, but the truth is these guys still need exercise. They need about a half hour a day and they don't just like being left out in the backyard. They like to be with their owner, like to go for walks, like to play fetch, because if they don't get this exercise, they can be destructive inside the home with a lot of pent up energy. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure they get exercise. And if you're not up for this or you don't want to do this, maybe a Yorkie Poo's not best for you. But these dogs still need exercise. The three reason why the Yorkie Poo may not be best for you is because of its grooming requirements. One of the reasons you get a Yorkie Poo is because they're mixed with a poodle, so you're going to have no shedding to low shedding. That's a plus. But the negative side of it is you need to keep these dogs brushed, otherwise they can get matted up. And when they get matted and then go to the groomers for a haircut, they end up getting shaved. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you're brushing them weekly, if not daily, to make sure that they don't get matted up behind the ears or in the armpits. So if you don't want to do this, then a Yorkie Poo or any doodle for that matter won't be best for you. But then again, you'll have to deal with the shedding. So it's definitely a give and take and something to consider when looking at a Yorkie Poo. Number four reason that a Yorkie Poo may not be best for you is because of their barking. This is not a quiet dog. They know what they want and they know when they want it and they know when they see something that's not right and they will bark. So this is something you need to be aware of if you're looking at this dog. The Yorkshire Terrier side of it is a barker. Plus the poodle, very smart and they bark too. So when you combine the two, you're gonna get a loud dog at times, especially if they don't get the exercise that they need to get rid of all that pent up energy. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you give them exercise. Otherwise, you're gonna have a loud dog on your hands and it's something to be aware of if you're considering a Yorkie Poo. Five reason why the Yorkie Poo may not be best for you is because they need socialization. It'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that this dog is socialized early and often. Take them to the park, take them in the car, take them around other dogs, people, kids, other animals. Do as much as you can with your Yorkie Poo. If you do this, they'll be great around other people and you won't have to worry. But if you don't do this, you could have problems with other dogs, other people. They can jump on them. They can really bark and nip. So it's up to you as the owner to socialize them. If you don't want to do this or don't have the energy or the time, then maybe a Yorkie Poo's not best for you. But if you can get them socialized, this dog will be great for you and your family for a long time to come. The number six reason that the Yorkie Poo may not be best for you is because they have small dog syndrome. The Yorkshire Terrier inside this dog is feisty, ready to go. And then you combine that with the Poodle. The Poodle is very smart and they know what's going on around them. So they act tough, they want to be strong, and they're not afraid of anything. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you train this dog good and with strong discipline right from the beginning. Just because they're small doesn't mean that they won't cause some problems and they need training. So if you don't want to do the training, or you're just not up for it, then this dog may not be best for you because they still need training even though they are small. The number seven reason a Yorkie Poo may not be best for you is because of the cost. The cost of a Yorkie Poo is definitely rising. Yorkshire Terriers mixed with a miniature poodle is at a high price. Then you combine that with a nice color like a chocolate and these guys can be anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000. 
Typically, we see them more closer to $5,000. So it'll be up to you as the owner to decide if this is the money you want to spend because on top of the initial costs, you'll have premium dog food, you'll have bowls, crates, leashes, collars, and everything else, especially toys and treats. So keep that in mind when you're considering whether or not to get a Yorkie Poo. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Yorkie Poo and we'll see you on the next one.